What's the fastest way to solve this question? In the xy plane, the graph of the given equation is a circle. What is the radius of the circle? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to write out the equation, zoom in until we find the topmost point, and then press this export button. We're going to go to the bottommost point, press the export button one more time. Let's set this equal to A, and let's set this point equal to B. Now this next part is pretty important. So listen up, distance A comma B. Now, as you probably figured, this number nine right here is actually the diameter of the circle. And if we want the radius, we simply do this divided by two, 4.5. Now in math, there's a concept called completing the square, which is basically how you should solve this problem the way your math teacher would like. But on the SAT, you're given Desmos. So there's really no point in doing all of this work. This method is much faster than this entire completing the square stuff. Before we move on to the two practice problems that I have for you, we need to first clear up a couple things, three things in particular. The first thing that we need to talk about is making sure that you're selecting the right point. See how these ones are gray, the topmost and bottommost points? The left and rightmost aren't, but they do click into place. I don't want you, however, to use those points because you can't export them like you can with these points right here. And sometimes the SAT will purposely put the bottommost point so close to the Y intercept because they know students will use this Desmos trick and they might be lazy and select the wrong point. We only want to be selecting this one and not the Y intercept. Don't be lazy about this. Actually zoom in, figure out what is the highest and lowest points. The second point that I wanted to talk about is the SAT will sometimes make their graphs extremely small, extremely large, or simply out of view when you first graph it. If you graph something and you immediately don't see it, it might just be out of view. So press this minus button on the top right until you see it. If you press it around 10 times and it doesn't show up, then you probably did something wrong. Always use this home button to go back to the default view. The third piece that I wanted to talk about is read the question. I've tutored a lot of students, especially on this most recent SAT, and I've seen a lot of you guys make silly mistakes, the most common of which is just not reading the question. Just read the last sentence one last time so you're reminded on exactly what the SAT is looking for. If this said diameter instead of radius, you would have gotten the question wrong. It takes two seconds to read the last sentence of any question. Make it a habit. I know I mentioned I tutored a few students for the most recent SAT. Here's what one of them had to say about my tutoring. Just, uh, just thank you so much. It's, it's been a great help. It really has. I think this is the best tutoring I've ever received for SAT, like ever, mm. uh, out of everything. And I've been through about two other tutors besides you mm -hmm. uh, for a longer period of time. And you're still better than both of them. Definitely. I appreciate that. Ethan. I show you that video to say that if you want one-on-one -on -one tutoring with me, go to the SATMath.com for my private one-on-one -on -one tutoring. Good luck on your SATs. I'm rooting for you.